Morning, Botai. Uh, it's very common now during the summer Shabbatot, which are very long. There are uh, many hours during Shabbat that a person has to occupy the children. And because of that, you have to find people to watch them, um, all sorts of babysitters and children's programs. The question is whether or not these people can be paid for their services that they do on Shabbat. So first of all, there's Gemara Masechet Babam Tzi'adaf Nunchet. The Gemara says that a person is not allowed to pay somebody else for services rendered on Shabbat because that is comparable to a transaction. You're not allowed to do transactions on Shabbat. Furthermore, there's a Tosefta that says that if a person hires a, uh, another person to watch his animal or to watch his child, you're not allowed to pay him for those services on Shabbat. That's called Schar Shabbat. And a person is not allowed to pay for things that were done expressly on Shabbat. Marana Shulchan Aruch and Siman Shin Vav Sa'if Dalit brings that down as halacha. So it would seem right off the bat that you can't pay for babysitting services or any of these children programs that are done on Shabbat. Is there any way around this halacha? So there's something that's called havla'a, which means that when you're paying in a collective manner, let's say you're paying a person for services that they did all week long or multiple times during that week, the halacha is, says Maranu Shulchan Aruch, that you're allowed to pay all at once, even though that money includes services that were rendered on Shabbat, that's permissible because you're not paying specifically for Shabbat. Now, the only issue with that is that many of these babysitting services or children's programs happen only on Shabbat. So what are you going to do about that? So there's a Knesset Gdola also in Shinvav. He writes that in places of a mitzvah, it is permissible to pay the, uh, the person who did the service on Shabbat. He brings an example Let's say a woman goes into labor on Shabbat and she has a midwife. Can you pay the midwife for helping to deliver on Shabbat? He says that's tzorech mitzvah. The chachamim were never gozer on that and therefore it's mutar to pay for a mitzvah. It seems that babysitting and things of that nature are also tzorech mitzvah to a certain extent and therefore it would be permissible. Nevertheless, Agon Yalkut Yosef writes that we do find that although it is mutar to collect payment for a mitzvah done on Shabbat, the minhag is that if a person's a chazan on Shabbat, he gets paid. If a person's a ba'al tokea on Rosh Hashanah or a chazan on uh, Yamim Nuraim, he gets paid. Nevertheless, the Shulchan Aruch does write that if a person takes money for things done on Shabbat, he's not roi siman bracha. You don't see bracha from that money. So now what do you do about that? So Agoni al Yosef says that he asked his father and Maran Zuchon Bracha told him that that money preferably should be spent on Sifre Kodesh or other elements of a mitzvah, so that you can see a little bit of bracha from that money, thus circumventing all of these other issues on um, of, of being paid on Shabbat. So that's that. Have a wonderful day.